welcome to the very first Oh Snappy Hour. Now, originally when I decided to do this, I was gonna have like a mixed drink every single week. Well, if you couldn't tell by the title, I'm pretty pregnant. And that just, I just probably wouldn't be politically correct, even if it was like non-alcoholic, you know, we'd have the judges. So, okay, so as you can see by the title, I am talking about how running a business you love is a lot like your first pregnancy. Plating business and your very first pregnancy, it seems really natural to me. It's very, they're very similar. Um, the feelings I felt in the beginning of my business were the really close to the feelings I felt when I found out I was pregnant. So I'm gonna talk about the the very, um, the most prominent ones, which are that there's a purse full of things that people don't tell you about. It's like, they think if they tell you that you're just not gonna do it. And number one is the exhaustion. People kind of like dance around, oh, you know, it's, it's, it's exhausting or it's, you can, it's, you're tired, but it's totally worth it. You can get things done. No. I was out. I mean, I was sleeping 16 hours a day, I think, probably, and then running an agency. And if you don't know what I do, I, I don't just run an online business. I run a full-blown creative marketing agency. So we have clients locally, and we have clients online. And right now, it's me and a project manager and a personal assistant, and that's it. So, you know, when I'm tired, too bad. <laughs> There's nobody to step in and do it. And that's um, a lot like pregnancy. It's exhausting, but who else is going to grow this baby? Nobody. Me. Two is that you're going to second guess yourself the entire time. Every decision you make, you're going to you're gonna wonder if it was the right thing to do. You know, all these baby books are telling you what to eat, what not to eat, um, what, you know, to sleep train, not to sleep train, um, self-soothe, not to self-soothe. And it really, it comes down to your gut feeling and what you think is best for your baby. You know what is best for your baby and your business, honestly. And then number three is you just can't imagine your life any other way. As exhausting as it is, and um, as much as you second guess, guess yourself, and as much as you learn about yourself, you just could not imagine waking up and not feeling that feeling every single day. No matter how sick you are, no matter how exhausted you are, you just could not imagine life any other way. And, and you know you're doing the right thing and it's gonna all be worth it in the end. You just can't stop. And the most important thing, it's not a number four, it's just that although it comes naturally, obviously your body starts doing these things um, and taking care of the baby, it's not easy and that's how it is in business. Like things are gonna come naturally. You're doing something that you really love to do and that you're really good at, but it's not easy. No matter what these other marketers and these coaches and the gurus are saying, you know, make $100,000 in two months, that's not a sustainable business model and it's not gonna come easy, but it's gonna be 110% worth it. So if you have any questions for me, if you can relate, if you want to keep the conversation going, please do so in the comments below. You can go to the website, freddarlingstudio.com and comment there. Like us on Facebook. There are a million trillion different ways to get a hold of me and you better. So I will see you next week for your weekly mixed shot of business, lifestyle, and marketing advice.